The New York Times published a story about a father who was walking down the streets of an East Hampton, New York neighborhood with his preteen daughter. Uh, the father began to hum and sing to himself, and his daughter, mortified by this, turned to her father and pleaded, Daddy, please don't sing. That man? Billy Joel. Indeed, the same Billy Joel who has sold out Madison Square Garden 32 different times so people could hear her daddy sing. But to his daughter, he is not six-time Grammy award-winning Billy Joel. He is simply the most embarrassing dad in the entire world. Now, this is good news for you and I as parents. You see, it's not just your kid who doesn't recognize your brilliance. I mean, perhaps right now your kid is in that difficult stage of life where, you know, they're trying to figure out who they are and therefore how they're a little bit different from you. You know, so sometimes they withdraw a little, they roll their eyes, they sigh as if they have asthma all the time, they make jabs. And, you know, if you're not careful, you can begin to buy into these mixed messages. You know, these messages that seem to somehow communicate, go away that somehow seem to communicate, Daddy, please don't sing. And look, it's nearly impossible to not take these sort of comments personally, right? But here's the thing, don't stop singing. Don't give in to that knee-jerk reaction to withdraw. You see, your kid needs your voice in their life. And when they're honest with themselves, and they know this instinctively, they know that they need your voice. Your voice as their parent is crucial, even when their signals say otherwise. Your voice is the single most important voice in their life. So keep singing.